I've been doing a little painting lately. It's been a while. I was inspired by old Bob Ross, you know, the TV show, The Joy of Painting, and some of these pictures that are hanging in my office area here in the kite house. So I came up with this little guy. I'm gonna take you on an adventure today. Welcome. Roommate Rob, here he did a painting too. Check it out. Yeah, so we're gonna take you to, it's called Ga Gotha? Not sure. Yes. Gotha. Gotha. Gotha, Florida. Woodlawn Cemetery. Woodlawn Cemetery, where the Bob Ross is a buried. Makeup, hair, makeup. No. Thanks. Got it. Okay. Well, here we are, Rob. Okay. Donating our happy little mountain. Happy, happy little, little mountains. Kite. Happy little kite to Bob. Thanks, Bob, for all you did. And great inspiration. Right here is where Bob Ross has been laid to rest. Here, pretty close to this really nice memorial back here. Bob was born on October 29th, 1942, and one of the, the nicest people, he seems to be nice in his TV show, The Joy of Painting, but from what I read online and personal accounts, he is in fact who you see on that TV show. He's, he's a very kind, was a very kind person and his start is very interesting. And it's a lot like some of us that make these videos or any of us that are artists out there. Many of you, all of you are artists, in fact, but to make a living of it, he did it really well and he did it so positively. So he's an inspiration to not just painters, people like me and Rob too, that just, you know, every, occasionally we'll extend our artistic ability and be inspired, let ourselves be inspired by somebody like him. He's a good example. He's somebody that uh, I've always looked to as a positive influence somehow. I know for some, they really appreciate his work and have modeled their lives and work after him, but uh, yeah, it's a cool thing right down the road from me here in Gotha, Florida. Come check it out. Woodlawn Cemetery. It's right off of Winter Garden Road. Pretty close to Orlando where Bob spent his adolescent years after growing up in Daytona Beach. Most of us know he is from, most of his time was spent in Muncie, Indiana. Uh, close to where I went to college. This cemetery is really large there's so many grave sites here and well kept i don't think i've ever been in a cemetery where the, the grave sites are so 
clean and taken care of and flowers all over the place and just a nice peaceful nice peaceful place i like to come to graveyards occasionally and just reflect and think about how life is just so short at a time when things can be a little chaotic in the world uncertain one might say it's a good place to come not for morbid reasons but for peaceful reasons to think oh, i'm really fortunate that i'm here i'm healthy and i like to fly that little iFlight kite in a lot of places but especially in a place like this in memory of the people around me i look at the dates and the names and i think of all the experiences and the the impact that all these people had on the world. It's cool to think about. Whoa. Those are real. Wow. Hey guys. Let's see what you do. Well. It doesn't work very well. Nature. It's not the best side of you, buddy. Oh, that's cool. Hope you enjoyed seeing the memorial for Bob Ross. I'll see you in the next video.